I've just built the ultimate AI assistant in WhatsApp using NA10, and it can do basically anything that you want it to do. In this video, I'm gonna show you behind the scenes, show you exactly how it works. Plus, I'm gonna give you this template absolutely for free, so you can get this working for yourself, whether that's in your personal life or within your business, in just a couple of clicks and a few minutes. So, let's get into it. Okay, so let's have a look at it in action. So I'm gonna execute workflow, and I am going to go over here, and I'm gonna say, um, either I need to book a marketing meeting with Michael Scott for tomorrow at 10 a.m. Can you invite him to this meeting, create a, a event in my calendar? And also, um, can you put a to-do in my to-do list, which is prepare for marketing meeting with Michael? Thanks. Send that off. And of course, it is going to read this audio message here. In fact, we can see it working here. It is understanding that audio message. Then we're going to the AI agent. Then it's getting the contact, so it knows the information of Michael Scott. Then it's creating, at the same time, a task to do. And we're going to see also that it's going to come over here, and it's going to go to the calendar and create an event. And there we go. And then it's going to send me a message, and because I asked it with audio, it's going to respond with audio. So then if we come back over to WhatsApp, we can see we've got a response here. The marketing meeting with Michael Scott has been scheduled for tomorrow at 10 a.m. and he has been invited. Also, the task to prepare for the marketing meeting with Michael has been added to your to-do list. There we go. Oh, let me pause that. So then we can go over and just double check. There we go, 10 a.m. marketing meeting with Michael Scott. And if we go over to my to-dos, we can see one of them is prepare for marketing meeting with Michael Scott. Of course, I can also interact with it via text. So I can say, um, send an email to Charles and ask him for this quarter's marketing spend and sp send that over and we can see it's working away this time with text rather than with voice and it's going over find Charles information and then it's going to go and send an email over to Charles and then it's going to come back and it's going to send me just a text message this time because I asked it with text and there we go, I've sent a email to Charles asking for this quarter's marketing spend. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to do. And of course, you can add in way more in here. This is just an example of some of the things this agent can do. If we go in here, we can see that they send the email, we can read it and it says, dear Charles, hope this message finds you well, blah, 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 blah. There you go, we can see it asks for the uh, marketing spend, great. Okay, so let's have a look at how this works in a little bit more detail. So uh, we first of all have the input processing. Now I have a whole video breaking down how you can build a voice agent within uh, WhatsApp so that you can both uh, text message it via uh, text obviously, and then also voice message it so you can get uh, voice back from it when you send voice to it. So what's happening here is uh, we are obviously getting a message from WhatsApp um, and we're then checking if it is voice. If it is voice, um, which is done here, then it's downloading the voice, transcribing the voice, and then we're feeding in that information, whether it's from voice or whether it's from text into the AI agent. And I will say um, the WhatsApp trigger that we've set up it's a little bit of an involved process, it takes a couple of minutes. I've created a whole different video all about how you can set up um, NA10 and WhatsApp so that um, you can send messages to your WhatsApp number um, or clients can. So it doesn't just have to be you, it can be anyone and you can get messages back. Uh, it's all to do with uh, Meta's business suite and everything over there. Again, I've created a whole video about all of this and how we go through and do this and set it up. I'll leave the link in the description. You can check that out. So then it's going to go through and it's got access to all of these sub agents here. Before we look at that, let's look at what it's doing here. So we've connected up some intelligence. In fact, we've got our main model here. Um, which is connected through Open Router. Open Router just allows you to connect to lots of different models from lots of different providers. We can see here I'm using 4.1 Mini, which is fine. Not particularly intelligent, but it doesn't need to be. Uh, and then we've got a backup model just in case my Open Router connection fails. It did recently actually because I ran out of credit, and it's great to have a backup uh, model there. We've then got the Think tool, uh, which is just a very simple description in here. 
to use the tools to think about something. It will not obtain new information, just append thought to the log. Use it for complex reasoning or some cache memory is needed. Okay, so uh, in fact, I'm gonna give you this entire automation absolutely for free. So if you wanna see how any of this works about any of the prompt that I put in anywhere, just download it. Link will be in the description. Come to this page here and download it and uh, you'll be able to get exactly this and implement it for yourself with just a few tweaks that you need to do in order to make it work for you. Okay, we also have simple memory. Simple memory essentially just allows you to have a back and forth conversation, and it means that the agent remembers everything that you're talking about. Okay, so here we are using sub agents. Now, the great thing about sub agents is that um, we can include the context within this sub agent rather than within the main agent. What this means is that we don't have to put loads of context within the agent here. We just have a little bit. And again, I'm not going to go through all of this in detail because you can have a look at it when you download it. But we're just passing in basic instructions of how it should work. We are telling it what tools we've got connected. We're giving it the current date and time because obviously uh, LLMs don't really know what time it is or they don't at all know what time it is um, because it's not in their, their training set. Um, and then we are putting in all the information specific about each tool in the information on these tasks here. So if I go over to contact agent, we can see here that we have more information just about the contact management AI agent, which is connecting to a Google Sheet, which I have over here. Now with the most recent release of NA10 tables, this would be a great example of when actually it might be better to use NA10 tables. Uh, I created this a couple of days before it came out, which is why it's not connected. So you can see here that we are including all the information within this sub agent, which just means it's a little bit more efficient with the AI agent, um, because you don't have to pass in all of these contexts here into the main agent. And you can see, we have got four um, sub processes or four sub agents connected. We've got one to connect to our calendar, one to connect to our contacts, one to connect to tasks, and one to connect to emails. And you can see with the calendar, I'm connecting to Google Calendar. With contacts, I've created a Google Sheet here. And this has the name of some of my contacts. So I've got Charles, I've got Yuki, I've got Michael, and I've got David. And whenever I need to do something with one of these, then what I'm going to get the agent to do is it's, it's going to recognize, oh, okay, he wants a meeting with David Brent or Michael Scott, whatever it is. It needs to go over, find the information from the database here, and then it can use that information to send an email or to uh, create a meeting invite on uh, Google Calendar, for example. And the great thing about having it in a Google Sheet um, or in a table of some kind is that it's dynamic, meaning that I can go in here and I can change it. And as soon as I change it, it's going to be reflected in what the agent's doing, which means that, yes, I could put all my contacts into here or what would be more efficient is in here. But then anytime that I wanted to um, change, you know, the email address of someone, I would have to go in here and change it, which is not particularly efficient because whilst that's fine for one agent, if I've got lots of agents connecting to contacts, every time that contacts change, I have to go through every single different agent and change the information, which just doesn't work. We need to have one central place where we have all of these contacts, which could be Google Sheets, could be NA10's tables, could be Airtable, could be uh, like Google has their own contacts thing, uh, like tool, um, which you could use. Um, next we have tasks. So same again, but we're using Notion this time to connect up. So we can update a page within Notion, which means changing the title, marking it as done or not done, changing the deadline. And over on NA10, we are allowing it to update, to get tasks. So have a look at all of the tasks we've got there and also create a page within Notion. And a database page is essentially like an item here. This is a database. And a database page is an item within the database within NA10. And then our last example here is our emails. And we've just got uh, my Gmail connected up to this. And we're allowing it to do a load of different things here, such as send emails, get emails, read unread emails, get labels, uh, reply to an email, put a label to an email, or to draft a response to an email. And you can see here, these are just four tools that I've got connected up. But you can connect way more. In fact, uh, down below, I've got 997 different NA10 templates, which you can have a look at, take parts of it, and put it into this AI agent here. So for example, one of the things I've got in there is a social media post scheduler, and it can create posts for you and then schedule it on your behalf. And what you can do is 
Go over there, download that, then copy and paste it in here, put it over here, meaning that your virtual assistant or your, uh, what do we call this? Oh, your ultimate assistant um, can have access to posting social media. So not only can we ask it, um, hey, can you message Michael Scott and you know arrange a meeting and then get the numbers from Charles, but also we can make it post things on social media. We can make it do research. We can make it analyze crypto or analyze stocks or whatever we want it to do. We can connect it up to this WhatsApp agent to make it your ultimate agent so it can you know, book travel for you, automate all your emails, it can post on social media, it can uh, talk to your business's metrics so it can understand what your business is doing, really anything that you want. If you're wanting to implement an agent like this or any other agent to help your business be more efficient and make more money using AI, then I have a community which does exactly that. You have exclusive access to me. I've got uh, over 2,000 premium automations, NA10 automations, which you can download for free. I've got uh, over 10 hours of courses within here, which you can learn everything from the AI fundamentals to how to become uh, an NA10 ninja to, and most importantly, how you can actually apply AI to business to actually make a business more profitable. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description to check this out. Anyway, that is it from me. I hope you found this useful in terms of how you can create an ultimate assistant that could do basically anything that you want. You can interact with it on WhatsApp so you can really do anything that you want via an AI agent on WhatsApp. This is hugely powerful when you get this working for yourself using this template here and connect it to whatever tools that you need to connect it to in order to automate your work so you can do more work, better work, and ultimately get more and better results for your business. That's it from me. I hope you have found this useful. If you have, please do drop it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.